everybody. This is Big Stack Numismatics. I want to welcome all my fellow coin collectors out there. It is Friday, October 21st, 2022, and I'm back with another early American commemorative coin for you. And of course, I have my, my checklist here. We'll do that at the end. But what we have here is the San Diego uh, commemorative in 1936. Um, San Diego half dollars were struck at the San Francisco Mint in 1935 and also the Denver Mint in 1936, struck to commemorate the California Pacific International Exposition held in San Diego both in 1935 and 1936. Uh, at the exposition they sold them for a dollar a coin and uh, there was 70,132 coins distributed. Only about half reached public hands and about 30,000 pieces were retained by a few individuals associated with the exposition. And of course, later, 30, 40 years later, several hordes were dispersed. And um, in the 1990s, approximately 5,000 1935S and 5,000 1936D San Diego's were sold into the market, of course, flooding the market. And so the bottom line is that this is considered a hoard coin, which means you're going to find many of these in really, really good uh, gem uh, condition. So this particular coin that I picked up, I believe I paid $175 for or something like that. But we'll take a look at the current value uh, here in just a little bit. But for right now, let's take a look at this coin. First of all, I love the design. This here is a depiction of Minerva, the Roman goddess of wisdom, justice, law, strategy. Okay. Beautiful luster on this piece, by the way. It's a like a white, blazing, lots of really cool reflective qualities in there. All right, let's take a look at the reverse. Some nice op open fields, some details in the buildings there. Very cool. All right, so a little bit um, about the design of this coin and everything. So the person that did the sculpture for this, um, his name was uh, Robert Aitken, and he had made um, several other commemorative coins, including, and I'll put this up here right now, the elusive octog octagonal $50 piece from the 1915 Panama Pacific commemorative coin issue. This is a coin I will never own. <laughs> and incidentally, this coin also features Minerva, and on the reverse, the Owl of Minerva, and that's pretty interesting. Um, and Minerva is, the, like I said, the Roman goddess of wisdom, justice, law, and strategy. But uh, interesting, if I show you the great seal of the state of California, um, there they're depicting Athena. And Athena and is like the Greek version, and Minerva is like the Roman version of the same person, essentially. So, um, okay, a little bit about this. Um, you see the California state seal with a depiction of Minerva. She wears a helmet and holds a staff in her right hand. Her left rests on a shield with Eureka on it. On the shield is an Aegis with the head of Medusa affixed. That's kind of cool. Between goddess and shield is a cornucopia overflowing with produce, symbolic of California's vast resources. A grizzly bear is to the left of Minerva. Behind them in the distance is a sailing ship and gold miner um, with the hills of the Sierra Madre as background. The name of the issuing country and denomination surround the central design with liberty under Minerva. On the reverse, we see, let's see, two buildings constructed, constructed for the exposition and part of the California State Buildings at the fair, the California Tower and the Chapel of St. Francis, which is today the San Diego Museum of Man. The outline which surrounds the buildings is said to suggest the Spanish mission architecture, but Anthony Swiatek and Walter Breen in their book on commemorative coins identify it as a tre treasure found some on some medieval gold coins, and the name of the exposition surrounds the design with the date and God we trust, under which the mint mark is found in San Diego amongst the buildings. So, there you go. That kind of describes uh, the situation there. But again, I love this design. And of course, it's, it helps when you have a nice lustrous example. This particular event it was um, PCGS rated this as MS-65. CAC agreed. So there you have it. Let's take a look at some of the coin details for uh, the PCGS cert page. 
And again, as I mentioned, this is considered a horned coin. And uh, right now, it says that there is 4,211 rated PCGS MS65 examples. That's an incredibly high number for a, for a commemorative coin. Um, and of course, there is 1,248 examples that are in better condition. Right now, the retail book value that they're given is $225, and it shows that that has appreciated um, recently. Let's take a look at that. And here we have the PCGS price history. And when I look at the all-time, uh, it looks like back in about, oh, I don't know, 1978, these were worth about 100 bucks. Skyrocketed, like most of these commemorative coins, so about $1,000 in the mid-'80s. And then as we found those hoard coins, <laughs> it plummets right back down to a low of $91 in 1996. And then it slowly climbed up in 2005 to about $195. Back down to $175 in 2015. Down to about $135 in 2019. And then here we have stepwise, at the, if you look at the end, stepwise up, 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 up. And now we're sitting at $210. So... Um, for me to pick up this particular example for um, $175 makes me feel pretty happy. Beautiful coin, easy coin to pick up in good condition for your collections, and uh, another one off the checklist. So let's go ahead and get to that here. And a quick scan of our checklist shows early American commemorative coins. Okay. That's where we stand right now. San Diego is right here. So we're going to go ahead and, in the most satisfying way possible, check off that we have now have San Diego. Um, let's see how many total we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We now have 18 uh, of the commemorative coins. So this is starting to fill up a little bit. But again, here is this... Uh, the 1915 Panama Pacific Exposition Gold, $15. That's the one that Aitken also designed. And uh, I don't remember off the top of my head how much those are, if you want to buy them. I feel like they're north of $10,000, maybe even fifteen. I don't remember. Um, but they're very, very, very hard to find. So that one will probably not ever get there. Oh, actually, no, the oct octagonal. Did I say that right? Octagonal, yeah. So there's both a $50 gold octagonal version and then the round one. So there you have it. Anyone out there have one of those coins? I, I just, I've never seen one in person. And uh, yeah. All right. That's all I got for you guys. Um, again, happy to check another one off the list. And I hope everyone out there is doing great. Um, if you don't mind, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And uh, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to grow this channel to at least 1,000 people. I'm trying to get on to where I can... Uh, make a little bit of uh, residual money from YouTube for doing this. I do have my other channel, Big Stack McGee, that does pretty okay. But uh, for right now, I've been making these videos. I think this is video number 52, and just trying to wait until I can have a thousand subscribers before I can join their their program. So if you wouldn't mind, I'd sure appreciate it. If you're still watching, God bless you. I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon.